You know the feeling where you stumble upon a chest and find some items that you completely forgot about that are worth millions of coins? Well today, I stumbled upon 2.5 billion coins, and here is how. Alright, so as many of you guys know, I play a lot of dungeons. And well, at the end of every single dungeon run, you get to choose a chest. And that chest will normally give you a reward. And pretty much every single time I take that reward, I do not sell it directly after the dungeon run. Instead, I go to a random chest on my island, and I chuck it in that chest and completely forget about it. Well, that's how today I stumbled upon 2.5 billion coins worth of dungeon loot and some other random items. First and foremost, I'm just going to admit, my island is an absolute dump. There are random buildings everywhere, they're just really random structures. I don't even know why some of them are there. And my chests, those are just all full of this random dungeon loot and those chests are just laid out all over my island. Although my island was this much of a dump, I never actually intended myself to be clearing my island out. Although I knew that I could be making a lot of coins. It wasn't until a YouTuber and a friend known as Beescape told me to invite him to my cop and let me organise all of your chests and you sell everything on the auction house. I thought this was a very good idea as, number one, I wouldn't have to put this much effort in, and number two, I could make a free video and a lot of coins for free. But it turned out that the job of clearing all of my chests was going to be a lot bigger than we originally anticipated. So we decided to invite a player known as Mosiak to the cop. And after about almost two weeks of both of them being on the cop, not much was really done. So today, after hitting Catacombs 43 the day before, I decided that I was going to spend the entire day clearing out my chests. And well, after eight hours of hard work just combining books, finding items, I ended up completing most of it. Originally, before I started clearing the chests, I thought this might take three to four hours, maybe five at an absolute limit, but I was quickly proven wrong. The process really seemed quite easy and I thought it would go by quite fast, because all I had to do was click on a chest, take all of the books out of the chest, move them all into jumbo backpacks, sort the books into their individual types, for example, wise, wisdom, rejuve, etc., and then just get people to combine them into level 5 books. But this was not as easy as you may think, because the reality was that I had probably 500 double chests which I had to go through, and then I had to sort all of the books out individually. Which, although that might sound easy, it really isn't. And as well as this, I wasn't just going for the books. I was also going for the Cursor Gears, I was going for the Wither Bloods, I was going for the Wither Cloak Swords, I was going for anything worth of value. Now, although the SBE feature was amazing and helped me by a lot, this was still a very, very long process. About 10 hours after I started, I finished this gruelingly long process. And in that time, I played for probably about 8-9 to nine hours, just clicking on chests, clearing books, and just clearing random items out of chests. I finally had every single chest ready to be sold or ready to be calculated. What I decided which I was going to do was I was going to calculate the value of every single item in all of the chests and I wasn't going to sell them. The reason why I wasn't going to sell was because I believe that the items can always go up in price later on. For example, for Rejuvenate books, if they add a new armor set, Rejuvenate will obviously go up, so it's not worth selling right now. And because of this, I was just going to calculate the sole value of everything in this chest and work out the final amount to see how much I actually made from around 8 hours of work. So let's just start off by saying that the total amount I made was 2,462,480,000. Now you might be wondering, how did I make all of this money? Where did all of this money come from? And well, I split it up into two parts. Firstly, the books. From the books alone, I made 1,750,000 coins. And from the expensive stuff, which was like the other stuff which I had, I made 1,460,730,000 coins. So if we go up to the books here, you'll see I made almost 100 million from Juves, 200 million from Wises, 70 from Last Stand, 200 from Wisdom, 
and 400 million from Soul Eater, and barely any from Combo nor Jerry's. Now for the expensive loot, which I counted as this chest, which was just a bunch of expensive stuff I found. Most of it was accounted due to the wither pieces and the percursor gear. So if I go over to here, you can see I made 260 million from percursor gear, 31 million from talismans, 80 mil from max or chestplate, 25 mil from some boots, 173 mil from some catalysts, skip those, 1.5, 6.2, 8 mil, 82 mil from Dying Necron Head, 60 mil from 5 star Midas, 28 mil from 5 star Yeti, a random backpack of loot which is this backpack right here, soul for 65 mil, Lays eyes from blood, 15 million, diamante handles, 40 million, with the cloaks, 120, with the boots, 95, with the chest plates, 180, helmets, 50, other helmets, 15, 12, 36, with the legs 49, and with the legs 110 million. So that is 1.5 billion coins in this chest alone. So all of that combined puts me a total of over 2.4 billion coins. And I could expect this number to go up later on, as when item prices go up, and if the dungeon item prices go up, this could be 3 billion coins, or maybe even more, so that's why I'm not selling right now, just gonna wait until the new update comes out, and these items are useful. Now, in conclusion, honestly, I was expecting a slight bit more, maybe a bit closer to 3 billion, but it really makes sense, as these were just random books, random items lying around in random chests that I suddenly stumbled upon. I sort of knew they were there, but didn't know what was there, where they were, or pretty much anything. But anyway, subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm getting help with the fairies soon. So, yeah, subscribe. Goodbye.